Hello, and this is Connie Fife, your unstoppable diva, and this is Upper Out with Connie, your business radio with an edge. And I am going to keep today's guest just a bit secret, uh, just a little bit longer, because I am super excited to have him on the show. And you're going to find out why just in a few minutes. So here's our quote for today. And it's if life gives you lemons, throw them away and get yourself some bacon. <laughs> it's time to turn up the volume, because it is time for Upper Out with Connie. And always stay tuned to the end of the show, because you don't want to miss any of the really good, exciting stuff that we have going on for you. So hang in there. We're going to take a really quick sponsor break and we'll be right back. And we're back and you're listening to you up around with Connie. And it is now my pleasure to introduce former Bloomberg contributing editor, guest celebrity judge on NBC Celebrity Apprentice with Donald Trump for over three seasons. He's a maverick, a marketer. He drives scalable campaigns, uh, mentorship, corporate governance, brand building, the chairman of the C-Suite Network. Returning to the show is Jeffrey Hazlett. Hey, thanks so much for having Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. I'm thrilled that you are here. It's been what, like a year and a half since you were last on the show? You know, I'm taking a deep breath because I can't remember how long it's been. And, and to me, a year and a half is like yesterday. So uh, I, I have to say, I, I have to agree with you. And I just said to my husband, Jeff, yesterday, I said, it's like this past year just flew by. Um, it was, and as you know, my mom was ill last year and passed mm -hmm. away. It was actually a year yesterday that she passed away. Oh, sorry to hear that. You know, it's tough. You know, you and I are at that age where we're taking over for our parents and we're at that, you know, I've got grandkids now. I've got a brand new grandbaby here, a couple of weeks old and another yeah, one who's two actually, her birthday. Adorable. I've seen a picture on Facebook with you. How cute. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, well, we have one. She's eight months old. So I get my, I get my daily pictures from her. I get my daily fix. So. Yeah. That's fabulous. Um, and um, then I got a new office chair this week. And so that was my real, my real excitement that I could sit in a real office chair now. Well, they actually have me in an office now. I'm in my, my office in South Dakota. I have offices all over the country. But yes. South Dakota, they actually put me in an office. Normally, I like to be out in a kind of a bullpen area. But right. I'm so loud that they have actually put me into a corner office here in South Dakota. So you're, you're in the corner office with the yeah. view. <laughs> yeah, with the view. I got a little bit of a view. It's a parking lot. We just bought this building um, a year or two ago, and then uh, we share it with IBM. Oh, okay. And um, so, but we're expanding. We just moved them into a smaller place and took over more space because our C-suite network is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah, yeah. But I was joking because you have a room with the view, and when you're sitting in corporate, as we all know, if you have a corner office with windows, you're you're doing good. You well, know? unless you're in Japan. In Japan, if you have a window, if you say he's sitting by the window or she's sitting by the window, that's not a good thing because they believe in a concentric leadership model where mm -hmm. the closer to the center of the room you are, the more powerful you are. You are. Because they tend to share information. They have an open office configuration where right. it's this ring, this ring, this ring. So if you're by the window, not good. Not good, not good. Now, last week I got to spend some time up in Cupertino and to tour the new Apple facility. Who talk about windows and being to the center core of the building. I mean, it's, it's, it's a circular building and it's all glass. And literally, the desks are movable that you can move them out into the courtyard right in the middle so you can work outside. So, I mean, how awesome is that? It is, you know, it's really cool. The company that's doing the office furniture in that building is a company called Technion. Yeah. And the reason I know that is I spoke at their annual meeting, oh, I'd say about two or three years ago, right when they won the contract. And they were oh, okay. showing the inside uh, story to their, in all their distributors around the world. I happened to be sitting in the room before my keynote watching how that unfolded and how they sold this Canadian company. Right. Um, that created this uh, whole line of furniture, how they sold Apple on the deal. And they were against, against some of the bigger, bigger businesses than themselves, but yet they won it. I, I, I was just amazing. I mean, the, the, the whole facility, it was just, just blew me away. 
um, and just to be there and have, you know, the inside access to everything that's going on. I mean, it was just, it was huge. Now you have so much going on right now. You have, of course, C-Suite Radio, of which I'm a part of. Absolutely. Um, the we're, and we're glad to have you a part of it. It just keeps getting, you know, C-Suite Radio just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger and more yeah. and more people are listening. And it's great content like yours and great contact with so many of our other headline and featured and showcased. Yep. We're pretty excited. Yeah, love it, love it. And you also have C-Suite Television, right? of which I'm expanding into that as well and partnering up with uh, another female host for your TV. And we're going to be putting together a show for the C-Suite TV as well. So we have a couple things going on there. Um, And then you're in airports. And I know last week my show was in an airport and I actually had some people call and tell me that they see me. And of course, I was like, oh. I'm popular. <laughs> yeah, it's really, really, it's a, it's a neat announcement that we've just made yes. in the last couple of weeks. We announced with Reach Me TV, mm-hmm. and we're in 50 U.S. airports and over a million hotel rooms around the country. C-Suite TV is the business network in airports and in hotels. So uh, all of our shows and, and new shows will right. be streamed, you know, live um, whenever you're on demand uh, in, in an airport or in a hotel. So then there's also the Hero Club, and that's one of your newer, your newer programs. So um, share more about that. I know Rob Ryan was part of that, and I'm very familiar with the story and how he created that and built that community, you know, helping the next generation or helping his employees. So how did C-Suite then become part of the Hero Club? Well, we actually, we purchased the group, and then Rob, uh, with that purchase, Rob agreed to work more and more with us. Rob sold his company in 1998 for about $20.4 billion. And he gave a portion of that company to his employees. That was one of the things he believed in very strongly, making the largest number of millionaires in one day through a tech acquisition and, and, and held and was one of the highest, in fact, the highest up until last year in December when LinkedIn was sold uh, for a little over 24 billion. So Mm -hmm. truly one of the greatest uh, unicorns out there in terms of size and when Rob decided as part of his connection to, you know, driving entrepreneurs and driving his business, he wanted to do more. And so he wanted to create the hero network, which mm-hmm. really was a result of people walking up to him saying, you're my hero, you're my hero, you're right. my hero, you've done for my family. And he goes, I want to do this for more, more leaders. And he wanted them to have that feeling and him, them to do the right things. So we created the, um, he created the Hero Club. Mm-hmm. We've expanded it to both hero CEOs and hero companies. So if you believe in certain principles of this, how, what this country was built on in free enterprise and, and sharing and recognizing great talent and sharing right. and recognize the rewards of all that you do and doing the right things in your community, then you should be a hero CEO. You should be a hero club member, a hero company. And so we're working with Rob and our entire C-suite network uh, to expand the Hero Club around the country. We just finished a big meeting in New York. We've got another meeting coming up in April um, in, um, in Phoenix and in Tucson. We've got Dallas coming up. We've got uh, Minneapolis. Um, Los and, Angeles. Yeah, Los <laughs> Angeles. I, I, I just name it. We're, we'll be there. But you can go to HeroCEOClub.com and you can find out a lot more about it. Yeah, I mean, I, that, that's really awesome. That's, that's phenomenal. And I, of course, I've been talking that up you know, to a lot of people that I've been working with and meeting with recently. And they're all like, you know, let me know when you come into town. You know, I, like I said, I spent so much time in Cupertino the last couple of weeks and sharing it with them. And they're like, let us know, you know, we'll help you. We'll give you a room. And, you know, they're, they were all on board. And so, I mean, it's, it's really tremendous that you are able to put that this out there so ceos well, can it's really run, you know out. the fact that, that that entrepreneurial companies they need to grow obviously right. so we need to give them the tool sets to grow so we give them some education we, we engage them around what's called the sunflower principle and teaching them a methodology for them to grow their business exponentially but they also need the network of people the context mm-hmm. that we have in the c-suite and also access to capital and they need to have a little fun. They need to let, let loose a little bit. And that's, that's really right. With now, that the, now you, you, I mean, you answer that question that I have there, the hero club, is it just for entrepreneurs or is it for executives, people still sitting in the C-suite, you know, helping them understand and bringing them also together with the entrepreneurs. Is well, that if, you, if you want more resources inside the C-suite, and so if you happen to be a CFO and so forth, you can join with your CEO. We allow up to two members 
uh, per company, but it's really aimed at the, the CEOs. So CEOs okay. can sit down and sit with other CEOs, but we do allow for companies themselves to have that expansion. But again, we have the C-suite network, which is anyone with a VP title or higher. Right. Uh, we tend to limit that to five, five million as, as the minimum uh, size companies. But with Hero Club, we can take smaller companies that will soon be at five million. Right. And then certainly we even take Hero Club members who are billionaires. Okay. Okay. All right. So it's and open to way, you. We have some great programs. I mean, mm -hmm. we had Damon John at our last meeting. I've right. got I've got Michael Houlihan and, and Bonnie Harvey, who were the founders of Barefoot Wine. Right. And in each of our meetings, we have some a great, great speaker or speakers who just mm -hmm. we do an interview format with lots of questions, very intimate, very intimate, the yeah. kinds of questions that are off the record. And we sit down and we visit for an hour and a half, two hours. We talk about some of the education. And then we also have typically four or five VCs or capital funders of some mm -hmm. kind. Okay. We were at the meeting to talk about, you know, how can you get more access to more capital to grow? And so we were spent a great deal of time there. Yeah. I, and fortunately, I missed your last program, but I heard it was definitely, I heard it was phenomenal. And the folks in Barefoot Wine, they're actually coming on up a route real soon. So oh, they're, they're great. They're absolutely yes, wonderful. I'm mean, looking forward to it. So they're, they're going to be on too. You should drink wine while you do their show. I, I probably would. I have my cup of tea here. We'll change it to wine. Yeah, yeah put some Moscato or something in yeah. there. I, I like their Moscato. The, okay, well, we'll keep that in mind. Uh, all right, so really important question here. What's up with the bacon? Hey, what's, what do you mean bacon? You got to ask that question? It's bacon. <laughs> it's you, bacon. In, in another <laughs> room right here in the office, we have the bacon shrine. I love bacon. Bacon's <laughs> awesome. Everything goes better with bacon. I know. It's like bacon, everything, bacon, everything. I mean, I know on the internet, it's either cats or bacon that people search the most. So yeah. I was like, all right, I got to ask Jeff Hazel, what is this about the bacon? Yeah, but who wants this? I don't want to, who wants cat people? I'm bacon people. I trust bacon people. Cat people, I don't trust. Bacon people, I trust. <laughs> That's, those, are, those are real Americans. Even, but they can even be the true Brits. They've got a great buddy sandwich with a bacon sandwich. Uh, bacon. Yeah, you go to San Francisco, you have the bacon it, restaurant, it, everything bacon. <laughs> But I, I, I love bacon. I love, to, I love to eat it. I love the smell. I love the smell of bacon. I love to hear bacon sizzling in a, in a pan. <laughs> I love everything there is. I like raw. I, I even love raw bacon. It just looks good. Now, I am uh, vegan. However, I do, oh, are you uh, really? <laughs> I, I do pass. I can't pass up on the bacon. Yesterday, I was actually out running. And, of course, I ran past this restaurant up the street diner. And I'm like, bacon. <laughs> yeah. So Connie, I <laughs> eat all the things I eat all the things that eat vegans. So that's, oh. that's my problem. <laughs> but I still can't pass up on the bacon, so I'm not completely vegan, I guess. So all right, let's take a really quick break, and when we come back, we're going to be putting you in the hot seat. So hang in there, and we'll be right back. And we're back, and you're listening to Upper Out with WCUNNIE, and joining us today is Jeffrey Hazlett, and today is all business with Jeffrey Hazlett, but Jeff. Our listeners do want to know more about you, the guy, the man. So first of all, how can people learn more about you and the C-Suite Network? What's your website address? Google us. I mean, C-Suite Network, we're everywhere. We're doing oh, everything. Yeah. C-Suite TV, C-Suite Radio, C-Suite Advisors, C-Suite Book Club. I mean, just all things C-Suite Network. Look at the hashtag C-Suite. You can find us through that it's as well. There. Uh, we dominate that. And then anything with Hazlet, H-A-Y-Z-L-E-T-T, -T, you should be able to find me there too. That's right. They're all over the place, just like horse yet. <laughs> so it is time to put you in the hot seat. Now we have 10 questions and we're going to zip through them really quick. So are you ready? I'm ready. I'm born all right. Ready. All right. Let's go. So what advice would you give to your younger self? Do it faster. Do it quicker. All you right. Know, so many times we, we wait too long and I, I, would, I would have done things a lot faster and not listen to the little voices in your head. Yeah, you betcha. I'm with you there. What's your favorite success quote? Uh, <laughs> it's a it's Shakespeare, cry havoc and let slip the dogs of war. Uh, okay, so that think big and act bigger. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's well, that was a good one too. I like that one. <laughs> yeah, where'd that come from? Did you know what you wanted to do right from the very start? Uh, not really. I still don't know what I want to do. I just like to have me my condition of satisfaction. I think life is a, is a journey. I don't think I'm doing the things I'm going to be doing 10 years from now. I'll be doing things differently. So my, my, mine's a constant reinvention. 
And I like that. And, and I like doing new things. Nice, nice. Okay. So all business leaders, I mean, they pretty much know, again, that they have to start somewhere. Everybody has failures. Everybody has successes. So share one of your failures. Share one of your great success stories. I fail all the time. I fail daily. I mean, without question. So the key is I don't, but someone always says, well, what, what was it? I don't know. I don't remember. I just know I screwed up. So get I over it. Move. I move past it. I, and I learned from it. And you know, my, I, you know, somebody asked me what, my, what's my big, biggest failure? I don't know. I haven't done it yet. So meaning I'm going to, I'll be big. And then what's my trying to fail. Failure? Yeah. So far my best success, quite frankly, have just been my children and my grandkids. I mean, nice. seriously, I know that sounds a little somewhat trite, but to me, mm-hmm. look, I know where I came from and the background that I had, and, yeah. and I'm just so excited that I've got such successful kids uh, my daughter, my son, and, and they're soon either spouse or soon to be spouses. And certainly my grandchildren and, and of course, you know, just being, look, I'm married. I've been married for 36 years. I know me. I wouldn't be married to me. So those are great successes. <laughs> well, yeah, it sounds like there might be a future um, in-law there coming. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. Uh, he's a nice guy. Seems like a nice guy. Really so good. what? Um, who was your cheerleader? Who's that one that really keeps you going? You know, it's really, I actually... <laughs> It's my family. My family really does. I mean, there, I mean, there have been some dark days, you know, in the business, like in everybody's business. But right. you know, I, I actually said this to my wife last night. Thank you, thank you for just trusting me, mm-hmm. because uh, there's. I mean, I've had some tough times over the last couple of years, just where I'm gambling a lot. You know, yeah. in terms yeah. of I'm betting, I'm doubling down, right. and not taking salary for months on end. And even though we're a very successful business, multi millions. And mm-hmm. just saying, no, I'm not going to do this every dollar we're going to put in because it's going to re- represent this. And, and it's paid off for us. I mean, we just moved our valuation at seven and a half times greater than mm-hmm. the value that we had a year ago. Wow, and, nice. And, and so it's those kinds of things. So my best cheerleaders are, are there. And then, you know, the other, I'm going to say this other one too, me. Okay. Because if you don't believe in yourself, you, you got a problem. And yeah. so I drink the Kool-Aid. And so... I, I think one of the best cheerleaders that you should have is probably yourself. Is yourself. Absolutely. Trust yourself. So when do you recall your aha moment? So would you say it's now to say that I got this? I really got this. Every minute of the day. Love it. Love I, it. I, I'm always learning those and I'm, I've always got lots of them. And, and, and it just comes to you. You know, I love getting back in South Dakota a great deal because it gives me time to think. And so I'm sitting yeah. there with a chainsaw. I'm sitting there. You know, uh, yesterday I had a sickle, if you remember a sickle. I do. And, and I'm chopping weeds along the river, you know. I'm a down-home country girl, so I know exactly yeah. what you're talking about. Well, most people don't know that, a hand, a hand slice, slice, whatever they're called. And I'm, I'm knocking weeds, knocking weeds. I did that for a couple of hours, you know, until my shoulders are so sore this morning. But, but as a result of that, you have those moments all the time. But I have them all the time. And where it just like, wow, it hits you. Like that yeah. was crystal clear. Why didn't I think of that before? Yes. And I continue to have them. Nice, nice. So, and I know the answer to this next question, but I'll ask you anyway. So do you focus on digital trends when it comes to marketing? All the time. I, I'm, a, I'm a millennial. <laughs> I know you are. I'm a millennial. I, and just trapped in an old guy's body. But <laughs> it's a, I think a millennial is the state of mind, meaning the digital side of it where they, yeah. you know, I, I'm an early adopter of lots of things. Uh, probably really, truly bleeding edge on many things um, because I try things and then, you know, I don't like them or I do like them and so forth. So you, but you find the things that work for you, but that, without question, I follow digital trends. So what words of wisdom would you have to someone today wanting to step out, be an entrepreneur, you know, for, to help them pursue their path? To what, are you, yeah, what are you waiting on? Come on, let's go. <laughs> this is the greatest life in the world. And I was talking yeah. to a staff member today who came to me about her son wanting to be an entrepreneur and, 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 and saying, she, having worked with me for the last six, seven months or so, she's, she's seen like, whoa, you guys think differently. You, you get things quickly, you move fast and right. you, you make decisions. And so my, my thought process is get going as fast as you can on it. You know, you're going to make mistakes, but you learn along the way. And that's, that's part of it. So, so getting going on that is as possible and so so read study listen to podcasts like this watch television shows read the books read articles god you know go where entrepreneurs are hanging out get to know them network like crazy and those are the things that have led me to my success yeah 
That's great, great advice. Well, I want to thank you, Jeffrey Hazel, for being here today. I mean, you're just amazing and just inspiration to so many people. And again, if you want to find out more about Jeffrey Hazel and the C-suite, just Google C-suite and you'll find them. It's, it's that easy. Or Jeffrey Hazel, H-A-Y-Z-L-E-T-T. And again, he's, he's everywhere. So thanks for being here. Keep sending in your success questions to askconnie at upperout.com and we'll send you the Freedom Action Plan. And Jeffrey Hazel, thank you for being here. Primetime television host, business podcast host, global business celebrity, speaker, best-selling author, and chairman of the C-Suite Network. Just thank you for being here today. Thank you. Our time goes by so quickly, and I want to thank you all for being part of our community. Keep sending in your success stories. And also remember, any questions that you might have to ask Connie at UpperOut.com, because we want to share your stories and help others become motivated so they also will take action. Be sure to subscribe with us on iTunes and like us on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn because you don't want to miss any of the good stuff. We have things popping every day. And it's been great being here with you today. And always ask yourself, if you could do something different to get a different result, what would you be doing right now? This is Connie, your unstoppable diva, and you're listening to Upper Out with Connie. Until next time, be bold, be connected, and be unstoppable together.